At first sight, it is hard to imagine that anybody lives in the dilapidated houses with walls on the verge of collapse, damaged roofs and cracked floors. However, despite the appearance, the houses built by the colonial government in the 1930s are the homes of police personnel attached to ginger police barracks. They have leaking roofs, they have broken windows, they have falling gutters. Members of the Defence and Internal Affairs Committee of Parliament who paid an oversight visit to the barracks were astonished by the state of the buildings. The lawmakers learned that the large iron sheet enclosure is a shared accommodation facility without a single partition. Most of these policemen, they are all above 18. They have rights to consortium or conjugal rights, but you cannot execute such rights in such a deplorable apartment they are living in. I've, uh, I've seen persons sharing double a room, uh, persons of, uh, who are probably married, and uh, they do this in shifts. The asbestos roofed structures are also occupied by families here, despite the dangers the material possesses. It is so heartening that in this era, this century, we have a police service that is still I mean, living in, in this kind of situation. The sanitation is too poor. It is no longer working. Actually, I really wonder how they survive. First of all, it was uh, constructed to use uh, you know, fresh water toilets, but the toilets broke down, the sewerage is not there. At the moment, the canine section has a single dog, but lacks a vehicle for transportation. It has a, a, a police vehicle, but it had a mechanical fault. It's still the one for the, the, canine. the one that we saw there. The ah, no, that's so, the canine. Canine. so now, you buy the taxi? You buy the taxi? We, no, we don't use a taxi. <laughs> We make arrangements if somebody has his vehicle. Now, you come with your vehicle. We are here. Numerous calls for better accommodation for law enforcement personnel have been made over the years, but little has changed despite the increasing police budget. I think funding has been given to the police, but this time around we want to ring fence the infrastructure development in this area. And when you look at the SS, the, you cannot renovate even the house that has been you know, here for in, in 1934. I think it is embarrassing for us as a country. Jackson Onyango, NTV.